Howdy boys and girls, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy where I'm gonna go steal me a pirate ship by going to the docks or something along those lines. I mean, that's what we've been told to do. So What's I'm that? gonna do it. And you're no help at all, jackass. You're like, oh, I got a boat, but I can't lend it to you because I gotta make ends meet or something like that. I don't really give a shit. The point is, I need a boat. the most cheerful of the place. Yeah, and it looks like mirages are roaming around too. These docks need to get docked a few points. Let's watch our step. Okay, this music, it's totally Final Fantasy V. What have we got? A cannon? What's it doing here? Hmm. Aha! Nice! It's a perfect... Ah! What just happened? Naturally, this must be how the locals get around. Uh-huh. Naturally. What, haven't you ever played the Mana series? Cannon travel, baby! It's the only way! It's totally bala. Also, we've been ambushed. What? You kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Now they're introducing mimics, but hey, the fortunate thing is, mimics are a pretty awesome mirage. I mean, I'm excited to be honest. Okay. I want one. So let's figure out how to get one. Uh, reduce the mirage's HP. Got it. Well, you know what? This is a fantastic time to introduce a new ability I have that I haven't really used because I forgot about it, but Subdue. It works a lot like this one move in Pokemon, but due to my lack of memory, I don't remember what it was. I want to say Fury Cutter, but point is, it'll do damage, but it won't kill the Mirage. And that's fantastic. I'm sure all of you know exactly how great that is. You know, being able to lower its HP but not kill it, it's, it's like the best combination ever. Until, uh, like, you get to, like, just grinding up anything else, you know. Like, grinding up, not so useful, but trying to capture stuff, it's fantastic. I like it. It's great. It, I got this in the bag, man. As soon as I capture a Mimic, well, all my hopes and dreams can start. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest. I got a couple good mirages, but I mean, for the most part, I haven't been too thrilled about a lot of the things I got, but finally, finally, I got something I can totally use. I gotta, I gotta work it up the levels, I gotta grind it up, make it up to snuff, but once it is, once it is, it's gonna be a valuable member of our team. And so, here we go, I gotta name it, right? Cause like, this is the mirage of the area. So give me a second, viewers. All right, everybody, welcome the new member of our crew, Cheshire, because I wanted something with a pun, and uh, Mimics are mischievous. They're like the Cheshire cat. I mean, look at that. A uh, totally surprise. You didn't expect that. <laughs> I digress, you know. Anyways, uh, why Cheshire? Because, you know, it's a throwback to my original playthrough of the game. You know, I had a Mimic on my team. Uh, I just wanted to rename something back from back then because I couldn't think of anything better. Also, a Water Seed. Uh, not the greatest, but at the same time, I mean, free shit. Can't really... 
can't really go wrong, right? At the very least, I can sell it. Also, other things, other mirages. I mean, I'm sure some of you want to know about what we got going here on the docks. Final Fantasy V area. Uh, well, we got some flans, you know, we got some mini flans. At least I think that's what these things are. Uh, I don't think we're straight to flans yet. Because, I mean, I guess those that would be too challenging at the moment. But I'm fine with that because, hey, mini flans are a good introduction. Because I can totally just own them. It's not an issue whatsoever. I can just use physical text. Which, by the way, the one thing about flans, the one really sell point of flans, is their high physical resistance. That's kind of what they are. You know, they're the enemy that you have to use magical attacks to really damage. So that's kind of a staple throughout the series of Final Fantasy. Or at least to my knowledge, that's how it works. Anyways, we got a switch here. As you can see, the requirements, you know, we need some weight and we need some water resistance. And it's all good. I'm using a combination. Technically, I probably only need Spider Mikey, but I'm going with the combination because teamwork, baby. Teamwork. That's how it always is. That's how it should be. That's how, what we need to get going. Also, you know, cannon travel because it, it's totally dope, man. It's the way we should all travel. Except if we did that in real life, we would we get injured so bad it'd be terrible also I, I don't understand why there's so many cannons just lying around these docks I mean maybe there's an answer for it maybe I'm looking too deep into it, it wouldn't be the first time also we got shark wolves I think we had a Murfkin that showed these guys off previously back in like Pyro Globe Forest all the way back then which isn't too bad not to worry you know that was a long time ago uh, if I remember correctly, it was like fire tax or something. I don't know. I should probably leave a lot of the things that we got here. Just just because I'm sure someone's like, Kill them, man. You're the Lutz player. How am I supposed to know how to capture things when I play the game? To which I say, yo, man, you use the Libra attack. You figure it out if you want it. But at the same time, I guess I should be nice or something. I don't know. I'm the last player. It's my responsibility, right? Okay. Anyways, you know what? Until then, until I get the opportunity, guys, I got to go treasure hunting. Because, you know, pirates and whatnot. Also, um, I got a question. Our whole point is we're trying to steal a ship, right? Why don't we steal this one? It looks all right. Dude, it's, it's a ship. Let's make this good. It looks old, but it's floating. Is it not good enough? Come on. Anyways, many plans, right? Libra. Let's use. Let's actually see the proper of how to do it. Physical attacks. Got it, everyone. Physical attacks. I'm not really the best source to like showcase this because I'm so OP to like really show it off. But at the same time, it says what it did. I guess I could use a subdue though. I mean, in hindsight, yeah. I guess that I would be the so showcase, bad. but uh, I'm not gonna get it. It's not my, it's not my destiny, man. Not yet. Maybe in the future. I don't really know. If it happens, it happens. But until then, not gonna worry about it, cause I got a whole mess of things to do. I, I just realized though, well, like we got a bunch of ships. We got branching paths, and I mean, I'm, I'm obviously gonna take the branching paths because. Uh, free shit. No one's gonna miss it. Free shit is amazing. It's Let's it's the best kind of shit. Cause I mean, uh, except for literal. Cause you know, in hindsight, when I say shit, I mean, in literal sense, that, that's probably a bad situation. But like, in any other situation, you know, free stuff. It's pretty good, man. It's the best stuff in life, unless it's like completely useless to you. I mean, like I don't know if I got a computer manual for like so an old computer. I mean that that's pretty useless to me. I don't really need it, but hey, it's just an example. The point is, I got Wobble Stopper, and I mean that's pretty useless to me because I got so many of them. That's the example I'm going with. So, like, Wobble Stopper, don't really need it, but at the same time, I'll take it. Because at the very least, I can sell it. And that's not a bad way to go about it. Also, we got a Murfkin. So we had Sharkwolves. That was, like, in the Pyroglow Forest. I brought that up. In this area, the Murfkin okay, is actually... I won't hold back. It's actually a Mega Sharkwolf. Because, you see, Sharkwolves, they evolved. 
much like everything else. But and their evolve form is pretty badass, if you ask me. I mean, look at that thing. It looks like a, a, a tor- I want to say a torpedo, but it's got, like, jets. It's got, like, a very sleek look to it. It looks like it's ready to fuck you up. I mean, look at that. Water abilities. Uh, not the best showcase, I admit. Uh, also, you gotta do a lot of damage if you want to capture this thing. That's a little more work than I want to put in. Also, I can't really do dick to us, because, I mean, thanks to the combination of Spider Mikey on Rain and Cyrus on Lawn, I mean, we're resistant to that, so it's not really going to do anything to us. I mean, it still hurts pretty bad. It's doing, like, over 300 damage. So, I mean, I I'd, I'd admit it's doing a good job at actually annoying me, but at the same time, it, it really can't hurt us. I think we're safe. We're fine. It, it's a level 25 battle, but at the same time we're in our 20s, so I'm not really, I'm not really sweating here. I might have to heal on occasion, but it's not looking like it. I think we can do this. I think we got it. It's in the bag. It's all adding up. It's fine. I haven't really talked about Final Fantasy V, have I? Because this would be a good time to go off, off topic. Because I mean, like. Uh, you know, World of Final Fantasy, so it's kind of like a, a love letter to all the fans and being like, Yo, Final Fantasy, look at all the stuff, look at all the things you can reminisce and look at all the stuff, like all the hidden Easter eggs and stuff like this, you know. The small the small things that kind of are like, hey, look at this. Wow, that creeped me out. W what do you mean? That chime sounded like it could wake the dead. You don't mean a... Hey, I didn't say it! Anyways, forgive me. I have to let them do the thing of the dialogue. But my point is, uh, we got a secret here. It's a pretty simple secret. One, two, three, count the baskets, ring the bell, you got it. Okay, alright. While I do that, and while I fight these guys, Final Fantasy V, I was talking about it. Um... Believe it or not, I know a little bit about Final Fantasy V, but I never really played it. It's one of the it's one of the installments I just never really got around to. I mean, I played a little bit of it. I have it. I have the collection for the PlayStation One. I think that's uh, anthology because it's tied in with Final Fantasy VI, and I believe anthology is the uh, the collaboration it has. You know, it's like Chronicles and uh, or. There's Final Fantasy Chronicles, which I think is Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger. For what reason, I don't know why Chrono Trigger was included in that, but for whatever reason, I, I digress. Point is, so you got Chronicles, and then you got Anthology, which I believe is Final Fantasy V and VI. Also, Shark Wills. Uh, if you want one so you can get a Mega Shark Will. Here you go, use the fire attack, there you go. I showed it off, I did the thing. Anyways, so going back to Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah, I never really played too much of Final Fantasy V, although I hear it's pretty good. It introduces Gilgamesh. It has a pretty interesting scene with a character uh, involving their death, from what I remember. Uh, it stars Bards. And I remember yeah. that. Uh, I remember playing a little bit. And the one shining thing I remember from 5 is that it adds so many classes. Like, more classes than necessary. But at the same time, it's an interesting experiment on how much they just add to the game. Uh, all that said, if I remember the plot, there's it's basically, you know, you got the crystals and you have to, like, resurrect them. And there's, like, this tree that becomes sentient and evil and it's called X-Death. And uh, that, that's all I remember of Five. I, I I never played it, but I've heard a lot, and I have a coworker that was talking about it who beat it. Uh, I should really go play it sometime. But I digress, because I mean that's not now. What we have now is Final, World of Final Fantasy in the harbors, and I recognize the music because lo and behold, I know some of the music. Gilgamesh is a very popular theme, like his battle theme is very popular. Or at the very least, I think it's Battle on Big Bridge or something like that. I don't know. I should probably look that up, right? Because <laughs> Gellum is exposing himself as a fool and, and not knowledgeable about all the Final Fantasies. Point is, we got a treasure ship. We got we got a luxurious ship. 
like all encrusted in jewels and we got some pretty nice items like elixirs, remedies, ambushes by like mimics. Ah, oh, by the know? way, have I mentioned we got pretty fortunate with the last one, but it turns out that mimics also contain death. If you're not ready for it, they will use it and you will cry. And if I was going back to Nuzlocke rules instead of half of them, I'd be lamenting right now on how much of a dumb dumb I am. But hey, it's no wor it's no sweat on my part. I mean, like I ain't gonna kill off like some valuable members and some affectionate mirages that I've grown attached to, like Spider Mikey and Chaz. They're great. They're good people. Also, we got Future Rule. He's leveling up pretty fantastic, if you ask me. I digress. You know, because that, that's what I do, you know. I, I, I get off topic. But hey, this, it is what it is. And right now, I'm, in, I'm inclined to actually get to the other side of the ship. And, like, try to take the treasure there. The only problem is we got a Mirage kind of guarding the way. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's an evolution of the Moogle. It's a, it's an alternate form that you can you can use, you can encounter. Uh, I'm going to save this for next time. I didn't mean to encounter it. I was trying to get behind it, but I guess it's impossible. You have to fight it in order to get that. Since when is it nothing? So yeah, we got we got these guys. Don't know. We'll find out in the next part.